The clock is ticking on Mali's military junta to restore constitutional order or face sanctions. The economic community of West African states has given Mali's coup leaders three days to relinquish power or risk having tough restrictions imposed on the nation. Those sanctions include closing all land borders, denying Mali access to their ports, and blocking transfers to commercial banks in Mali from the regional central bank. ECOWAS Commission President Kadre Desiree Wadraogo announced the measures Thursday in Ivory Coast. Earlier in the day, a delegation of West African presidents abandoned plans to meet with the junta leaders, led by Captain Amadou Sun Sanogo in Mali's capital, Bamako, to press, for a real, to press for a deal restoring constitutional rule. The regional group instead held an emergency meeting in Abidjan. Now, the United States says it is disappointed that the ECOWAS leaders were unable to meet with Mali's junta leaders, but remain hopeful that there can be a rapid diplomatic solution to the situation in the country. President Toure was ousted last week in a coup by soldiers angry at his handling of an ethnic Tuareg rebellion in the north.